Hey my Aries, welcome to your July monthly zodiac sign reading. I'm Christine. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I just wanted to take the time to thank you all for being here. Thank you to my subscribers, to my new ones and old ones. I'm really grateful for your continued support. As I shuffle this, I want to quickly remind you of a few things. Always, always, always practice your intuition. Practice discernment. Know that energies are fluid and that people do have free will. And if you ever are in need of a Reiki healing energy reading or a tarot oracle reading, you can um, send me an email or comment down below. Otherwise, we're going to see what's in store for you for July. What messages for my Aries, please? <laughs> Thank you. She Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within. This definitely speaks to me of Aries. I feel like some of you are just waiting to start something right now. Perhaps you're going through a transformation. Wow, we got the full moon coming up in Capricorn at the time of this uh, writing or recording, I should say. We have the full moon next week. And so I feel like some of you are preparing to unveil, literally unleash something, not just internally, because of internal transformation, but also you're preparing to start something new. There's a sense of empowerment here, of vigor. I feel like some of you have been in hermit mode or have been kind of resting a little bit, perhaps after your season ended. But there's a need to get yourself out there. I'm getting like expansion, growth, uh, new starts, new beginnings. There's something that is completely changed, has changed about you, your path, your way of thinking, your lifestyle. It's almost like when people come out, what is it, those socialite type of balls? It's like that energy I'm getting. It's like a reinvention and you want to show the world. Okay, what other messages please for my Aries? This is so interesting. I just finished the other two fire signs, Leo and Sag, and all your cards are like coming out fast. Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns right now. So we are in cancer season and cancer does rule over um, ancestry, lineage. So at this time, some of you may be uh, healing and having a lot of trauma wounds come up from past lives, from this lifetime, ancestral childhood trauma, and some of you may be feeling triggered. And so a lot of this is coming up for you to be healed. Well, excuse me, for that to be healed and obviously for you to heal. But some of you may be wondering, why am I experiencing so much triggering? Why do I feel this way? Why are um, people bothering me when in reality they're showing you what it is that you may still need to work on, acknowledge, become more aware What other messages, please? I definitely, before we get the other cards, I get with the armadillo, because the armadillo is about boundaries. Snake is about transformation. We got the lizard. They're adaptive and the turtle. I always get slow and steady. But I feel like with some of these patterns, they could relate to uh, your sense of self, self-worth to your boundaries in particular, not people pleasing and patience. There's others, of course. So you got a bunch here. We got, oh my goodness, you, Sagittarius and Leo all got this. So there may be a message in those two others if you have other placements. Winter, take care of your needs. Shaolin master, be graceful in movement and action. Lady, Enjoy growth and re rewards. Sky Father, trust in the unknown. Okay, so right now with cancer energy going on, a lot of this is about retreating and taking care of your needs. So I'm not surprised this card has been coming up. This is highlighted here to really make sure, especially if you go are undergoing a lot of healing right now and integration and transmutation, it's taxing on the physical body. So make sure you develop or assess your self-care needs right now. It's really important. 
Um, I feel like this is a time out as well for you all to rest, to really take care of yourself. Because I feel like the next steps that are coming, some of you are definitely starting something new and it could be a little bit scary. There's a big transformation coming and you're being called. First, you're given confirmation that things are going to be okay. You're going to uh, achieve success in what you're doing, but you're being called to trust, to surrender. Because the dragon back here is very transformative and this speaks the orange to the solar plexus. So there's an element here of having trust, courage, confidence, empowerment, which I feel like as you process any healing and you take care of yourself, you're going to be okay in that area. Because my Aries, if there's anything, you guys have no fear in going forward. I should say you have no qualms in going forward. Fear, I think, is present in a lot of people, but I feel like you just do it. Whatever it is that you are about to embark on, things are going to be successful. This speaks to me of abundance. This could happen around the autumn time up here in the northern hemisphere but because of the colors of the leaves of the leaves i get spring even summer so this is something you could be actively cultivating right now and working on and i feel like long-term stability wealth abundance in different areas of your life are coming there's something here about trusting the unknown some of you may be trying to control something hence the be graceful in movement and action don't be too expeditious. Don't try to rush anything or force anything because that's when things fall apart. When we have growth, this again, these cards don't have zodiac signs, but this reminds me of Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's very slow moving, but there's a reason. It's because it's developing and growing with commitment, with certainty, with love, with care, kind of like a plant. You know it's going to live on for generations, right? That's the same energy you're being asked to take here being graceful in movement and action. Don't be too forceful. Don't rush into anything. I know you have a lot of power here to unleash. You have a lot of ambition that you want to uh, utilize. You want to move forward. But again, similar messages to the other fire signs. Some of you really want to move ahead right now, but you're being called to rest and to trust that the state or the phase that you're in right now, the transition is for you. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some Winology. What other messages do you have for my Aries, please? What other messages do you have for my Aries? Thank you. This to me also speaks of um, Saturn. About timing. There could be something that you're wondering about time. We got a time for healing, balsamic moon. Okay, so this confirms what I just said. Some of you are in the midst of healing, so it's really important to take a time out or as much downtime for yourself as possible because, again, healing is taxing. Uh, it affects your mind, body, soul, your physical body, your spiritual body. So with ancestral patterns and any other healing that's coming up, it's really important you take extra care. It's almost like it's calling in this winter energy of hibernating, hermiting a little bit, going within, uh, really using your 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 home, your sanctuary for this at the t at this time. I sense strongly you guys want to move forward because there's two wolves here, and the wolves are leaders. They move forward, they keep going, but there's also a time they recognize when they have to stay back, hibernate, and take care of their needs before proceeding on their journey. <laughs> What other messages does the universe have for my Aries, please? What else do they need to know? Full moon in Virgo, you are good enough. Uh, who got this? Oh, I don't remember. But this could be uh, an ancestral pattern you're healing. It could have something to do with self-worth. Your value. Any other messages, please, for my Aries? Anything else they need to know? Oh. Anything else for my Aries, please? Anything else for my Aries, please? What else do they need to know? Okay, and this one turned over. Okay. It's 
time to release any negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. You got two full moon cards. We have a full moon in Capricorn coming up. Yeah, this speaks to healing too. It's time to release anything that is not only not in alignment with you, but that may be causing you harm, anxiety, uh, negativity, heaviness. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So this means expressing yourself. It doesn't have to deal with someone else. It could, but there's something in your healing that is calling for you to express yourself. Some of you may need to speak something out to someone in order to heal, whether that's family, since this does deal with ancestral patterns. It could be someone that you're with, like a partnership or a friendship or someone in your work space, especially if it deals with your value system or anything that's triggered with these ancestral patterns or any traumas. There's a need for communication, potentially to clear the air, to allow you to express what it is you want to and to, for you to uh, simply speak your truth. Because when you, do, when you do that, it releases an energetic block. Some of you may be uh, experiencing some difficulty with your throat chakra and imbalance, having difficulty talking or not saying enough and keeping things guarded. Okay, we're going to go into the tarot right now. I just heard that. Okay, we'll pull this. We're going to dive into tarot to look and see what other additional information, what other messages, and to gain some clarity here. What other messages, please, for my Aries? What other messages, please, for my Aries? Thank you. I'm going to move this up. We have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, there's some type of healing. Some of you are walking away from things that no longer serve you, that are not in alignment with you. I feel like many of you may have been dealing with a lot, just overburdened, feeling stressed, overwhelmed because we have someone here that's carrying a lot of swords but they're not able to they're dropping them there's a sense of releasing things that no longer serve you right like releasing negativity it could have been things people said that were harmful to you maybe emotional abuse or the way people talk to you that they treated you someone may have been devaluing you with the nine of wands i feel too there was some some type of it could be literal pain but disappointment hurt this disillusionment. So there's a clear message here because this is about healing. Really, really examine in your life right now anything that's causing you pain, anything that's not bringing love and joy into your life and heart. See what it is that you can, what can you do about it? What is that you can change from your sphere of control? Because I feel there's boundaries that need to be set. Perhaps that's where the communication comes in. You may need to assert yourself here. What other messages, please, for my Aries? Thank you. We have Six of Cups. So, yeah, you guys are really looking for emotional fulfillment right now. Some of you have been in situations that have just been literally fiery. Because wand energy is... Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, and swords are uh, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you have been in situations that have been very intense, very conflictive, conflictual, I should say, combative, whether through emotional abuse, perhaps physical abuse, but there's been a lot of discord and conflict, and you all are looking for peace and harmony because six of cups very much speaks to balance, peace, harmony, but also emotional fulfillment. Some of you feel drained from what has happened. What other messages, please? Thank you. 
we got patience. And this is in reverse. Yes, I always have to see it. So again, like I said, there's a restlessness to you all. I feel like you're itching to get through this. It's really important you connect to your emotions at this time. Really connect to yourself. Really process what it is that you're feeling so it can exit your body. I just sense here, with uh, there's a lot of negativity and we have this card here. It's time to release negativity. I feel like some of you may have experienced a betrayal of sorts. Patience can also indicate in reverse, I should say, that you've made a decision or need to make a decision about this. Okay. We have Queen of Cups <laughs> as I talk about the emotions. So the Queen of Cups is really talking about really nourishing and taking care of yourself, really tapping into your emotions and intuition, really honoring who you are and connecting uh, your heart to how you feel. Not just in your mind. It's not about being... Uh, in your head all the time this is speaking very much about taking ownership for yourself taking care of yourself calling back your power because this queen has enough cu uh, cups has a cup here that's full of love essentially liquid but love for themselves what other uh, messages please again ten of wands page of coins Knight of Swords. So leave behind anything that is burdening you. Stop carrying other people's burdens. Some of you deal with codependency, people pleasing. Some of you need to erect boundaries, literally. And I feel like you're learning this because the Page of Coins, which is Pentacles, is about not just learning, growth, uh, starting something new, uh, planting a new seed, but I feel like you're learning this. And some of you, I'm feeling the... I'm seeing here that some of you, whatever happened, something was like enough is enough, I'm hearing. What is it, the straw that broke the camel's back? That's immediately what I got. <laughs> I feel like some situation was it. That, that was the last straw for you. And things may have gone to shit. You may have said or been in, in an exchange with words or some type of conflict. But I feel like that was what was needed for you to recognize your worth, to set boundaries, to be firm in what you wanted, and to also learn about what it is that all of these experiences were teaching you and have been teaching you. And you took action towards this. Some of you are about to or have taken action in communicating this and expressing this. Because Knight of Swords does speak to communication, which we have here. It could be with a Gemini. What other uh, messages please for my Aries? other messages please king of coins so yeah speaking your truth communicating your needs your wants what it is it uh, is important to you and what makes you feel valued is important because that's going to lead to your ultimate stability and you're realizing that now because some of you have been enduring a lot of negativity I feel like you've been absorbing a lot of negativity around you could be family, work, or in a relationship. What other messages, please? Thank you. Ten of coins, a lot of pentacles. So this may be, have been a situation at work. You may have experienced a toxic workplace with a colleague, with a boss, someone in leadership. <clears throat> For some of you, you may have been involved with someone in a workplace, whether as a friend or in a romantic capacity. I just got that. But there's a chapter, you've got nines, a lot of energy about balancing here. And with the 10, there's a completion. Something is ended, has ended, and this has been like an ending for you all. Because this could be something that's about to happen too for some of you, depending on your timelines. But this was all about your worth. Some of you were involved in abusive, toxic, not so healthy work environments. A lot of negativity in these work environments I'm getting. And it took a lot for you to release that. I can understand. Some of you may not have had the opportunity to line something up, you know, to move into. Some of you may have had to quit or give your notice. Or some of you may have been fired because of something, injustice. Because again, there's some semblances of balance here. But some of you had to leave. 
quickly from the situation because you're like, nope, my value, my worth, my love of self matters more. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this is achieving peace, stability, wealth. Literally, the situation was all about your value. Any additional information, please, for my Aries? Thank you. We got four of wands. Ooh, I think every fire sign may have gotten this. <laughs> Uh, this is fire energy and to me this means balance coming into peace and harmony with yourself wow excuse me whatever situation you're in and this could be something that's still happening this is all meant to teach you because this is a decision you needed to make for most of you this is you being assertive and walking away expressing your truth because it was about your value and your worth. This was a big spiritual lesson, like a soul lesson. Again, we got Page of Wands here. So many of you have taken action and are starting something new. You're taking your energy, your passions, your creativity elsewhere or they're being valued. Anything else to tell my Aries, please? Any other messages? Anything else they need to know? Again, we got seven of wands here in the tower. So yeah, yeah, a lot of you left something. It could have been, it could have been a quick exit because I'm here, this indicates battle and I definitely am feeling that there was some type of conflict. Again, it could be verbal altercations, chaos, some type of negativity, toxicity or abuse in the workplace. And there was a sudden change. So this could have been you abruptly giving your resignation or leaving or quitting or you being fired. I think that e either you did this or the universe. The tower is usually the universe's hand. If you weren't paying attention to the signs, the universe finally made this exit for you. Can you give any other uh, messages, please? Anything else my Aries need to know? Anything else, please? Thank you. We got the fool. Oh, this is amazing. Beautiful card, because you know what that means? You're starting a new journey. You're taking a leap of faith. That's why we have here. Unleash the wild within. Once you realize your value, your worth, you're like, I'm taking me, myself, and I, and I am going elsewhere where I can be appreciated. Look at that. This was a huge awakening for some of you. Huge, huge spiritual growth. For some of you, you were dealing with this for years. Years. Hence the tower moment. I feel like the universe was like, okay, that's it. We gotta we gotta intervene here. And I know it's scary when something happens suddenly, like where you lose your job or you're fired and you don't have backup or uh anything like that, like a safety net. But there's there's abundance and prosperity coming for you. Ten of coins, but also the fool and the sun. Look at this. The four of wands, too, indicates stability and balance. Any final messages, advice, guidance for my Aries, please? Anything else? Any advice, guidance, please, for my Aries? Any final messages, advice, guidance for my Aries? Thank you we got temperance and again temperance this was a spiritual lesson this is Sagittarius it's all about balance and you learned it it's like the universe is rewarding you even though if you're in a state of influx or transition you may not see it which is why we got the need about healing and resting this may have been a huge pattern in your family tree about valuing yourself people may have been used abused taken advantage of allowed themselves to be treated in any which way simply because they knew they needed a job or they didn't have any recourse any exit in their life this is huge look at this you got blessings coming in this is like a graduation I, I've heard a lot of prosperity and abundance you've reached a balance it's like I heard like you did it any other messages please any guidance, advice? Any guidance or advice for my Aries, please? 
Thank you. We got the moon. Let me move these up. Otherwise, you guys can't see them in the camera. <laughs> We've got Wu Wei and the moon. So Wu Wei is definitely about surrendering. You had a card here, right here. Trust in the unknown. That's similar to Wu Wei is about letting things flow and not forcing things. I feel for some of you because the tower indicates a sudden change. Right now you're being asked to trust and I know that's hard. I, I, I quit my job, I'll say. I resigned from a toxic job in November 2020 with no backup. <laughs> so I feel like I'm not an Aries at all, but I am a Libra. So Aries is my um, descendant. And I just feel like you're being asked to trust because something good is coming. There's some, but there, yeah, I'm getting, you know, s some fears coming to the surface. This also speaks to really following and paying attention to your intuition and also healing. This is Pisces energy, but I always get cancer with the moon because the moon rules cancer. You are getting messages right now from your spiritual team, from your guides. Some of you also needed to learn how to surrender and trust because you were gripping tightly to things that weren't meant for you, like the situation. You were gripping tightly because you were scared of what would happen, what would come next, what would replace this, what you would do after. And you were, I feel like you were so much into fear, so anxious that the universe was like, okay, tower, we got to get rid of the situation and move things. Let's, um, we can clarify this. Okay. Can we clarify the Wu Wei? We got King of Pentacles and Six of Wands. So yeah, this was about bringing you into balance and stability because the King of Pentacles is someone who is stable, who is abundant, who has a lot of wisdom to share, resources, wealth. And again, you got another wolf. It could be a dog, but I sense wolf. Look at this. This is about your inner strength. You guys have a shitload of strength. You've survived a lot. She wolf, the winter wolf here, and then this wolf, king of pentacles. You, I feel like you guys are headed towards a brand new, like a leader, I'm getting leadership vibe, whether you're striking out on your own or starting a position or will be stepping into that. Cause look at that six of wands. Again, it speaks of balance and stability and harmony, but also success and celebration. Some of you may rec be recognized for this. Some of you may get involved in a career that helps others with this type of situation that you've left. You may be helping others in similar areas. Can we clarify the moon please? Can we clarify the moon? Page of Pentacles. We had it up here, page of coins up here. So yeah, this was something you needed to learn. I feel like this was all about your stability, but this also had to do with something you needed to learn and that was about your value. These were clarifying the Wu Wei card, by the way. Final message, please, before we go on. Final message. Thank you. We got four of pentacles. Okay, I'll put them on top. Four of pentacles, five of swords, knight of cups. Really focus on continuing to heal and protecting yourself. This is about rebuilding your foundation, this next chapter of your life. You're rebuilding who you are, your value, your worth. It's about investing in yourself. Right? You don't see this person giving away their coins, their resources. This is about putting into you. Five of Swords, again, speaks of releasing negativity, releasing anything that has hurt you, harmed you. Free yourself of this. Liberate yourself. You don't need to tie yourself down. And the Knight of Cups, to me, indicates, uh, wow, you've got a lot of fulfillment coming towards you. Beautiful fulfillment in, in your life. I feel... 
since this is a lot talking about like the workplace, your career, your finances, I feel like a lot of fulfillment and emotional stability is coming there and you're going to be fulfilled and happy. I feel like what you're stepping into next is really going to be something you love. Because with the roses here, roses vibrate at the frequency that's closest to love and love is vibrating extremely high and roses represent generally, especially red, passion, love, romance, creativity, stability. We have a lot of food here too and red. So the, to me, this also speaks to stability. Let's pull uh, additional Oracle to finish out your reading for any final messages. Anything else my Aries should know, please? Any other guidance the universe has for my Aries? Thank you, Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. Through all of this experience, you've been protected and you know why I know? <laughs> the tower and temperance. This is divine intervention, generally. Divine intervention from the universe. You see the eye? <laughs> and temperance too, it's a spiritual guide. Guide, it's a spiritual, uh, has spiritual significance and connection. Strong spiritual connection and divine protection. So all along through this journey, you are being guided a lot. And this is written, this is part of your own Akashic record. This journey, this was something you wrote in when you incarnated into this world to learn how to value yourself. Which is interesting because Chiron is going to be going retrograde in your sign of Aries. And of course it's going to be in every, it's going to be in a different house for everyone depending on where it's at in their natal chart. But you rule the first house, which is of self. So some of you really needed to learn how to value yourself how to set boundaries, how to express your needs and communicate those. Any other messages for my Aries, please? Any other messages, please? Thank you. Deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, be held. Again, speaking to winter, take care of your needs. After healing, after leaving some type of I'll just say trauma, toxic situation, negativity. And again, take it as it resonates. I got here mainly, it had to do with an environment, like a workplace, but it could have been a relationship too. And again, I mean, most of the time there are relationships embedded within these environments. So this is confirmation of, for you having to really take care of yourself, take a hermit-like approach, replenish yourself, nurture yourself, recharge your batteries after everything that you may have gone through um, it's really important okay we're gonna we're almost done okay any other messages thank you <laughs> there's a lot of blue in your reading so again this had to do about asserting yourself too Faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. Again, there's something about trust here. Having faith that everything is working out for your highest good. Some of you may have literally been trying to control things and because of that, things fell apart. You may want to call upon Archangel Haniel for this. We have Gaia, Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet, come back to earth, stay grounded. This is something that can help you as you take care of yourself and rest. Connecting with the earth while you're healing is such a wonderful way to transmute this pain, this trauma, to replenish yourself, uh, recharge, cleanse your energy and auric field, and simply feel rejuvenated. It's amazing how healing it is. Look at all the blue here. Any self-care? <laughs> okay, came out. Oh, we got two. Sagittarius, I think, got this. Or maybe it was Leo. It was Leo, I think. Nine, clean your space. 42, read. 
So again, I feel like some of you, uh, because of the situation, if it depend, if it regarded a partnership of sorts or a work environment, you may be cleaning. Cleaning is a wonderful way to recharge your energy, cleanse your energy, to reinvigorate your space, also to release. Because when you're moving, you can help move that energy through your body and get rid of it. Because you're moving. You're cleaning is like a workout. We also got read. Some of you at this time may be going inward and reading may be something that connects you to something you that brought you joy. And it's also, it allows your your body to rest. It allows you the ability to, again, replenish your soul. You got a strong message here of healing and resting. We're gonna pull a final animal spirit oracle to see what final messages your spirit animals have. What final messages please for my Aries? Final messages please for my Aries. Final messages, please, for my Aries. Final messages, please, for my Aries. Ooh, you've got quite a few. Oh, I'm not going to even say it. I think you saw it here. Look at this, my Aries, your ram came out. You guys came out here, even though these have no zodiac signs. Perseverance, you have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. To me, this is a fortuitous sign. You guys are so much stronger than you realize. We got dolphin play. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom, go with the flow. Again, another card about faith, trusting in the unknown, go with the flow. And you also got that too with the Wu Wei card. Where is it? Right here. Wu Wei is about surrendering to the flow of life. So you got four confirmations here. Look guys, this is your fourth wolf card. I kid you not, some of you, your spirit animal is a wolf or you're being guided or you're seeing a lot of wolves. Where's the other wolf in here? Right here. Look at this. Look at all these wolves. One wolf, this she wolf, this wolf and then you have this one pathfinder release your path excuse me release your past and start a new journey you got that with the full card you all you are a teacher and help others find their way i mentioned you guys may be helping others in what you've just experienced and recovered and gotten out of there will be challenges but your soul is strong perseverance is your secret power look at this perseverance again you have a love that endures. Holy shit. So much confirmation here, my, my Aries. You guys are... I'm not saying that. I heard like the bomb. I'm like, that's something people we used to say in the 90s. <laughs> but I will say it. You guys are the bomb. The shit. Look at this. So much strength here. Look at all the wolf energy. Perseverance. Strength. You guys are going to overcome this. I know. I feel it. You guys are going to overcome the situation if you haven't already. My Aries, I hope this reading resonated, provided some guidance, some clarity and confirmation for you. If it did, I would uh, appreciate it if you could like, share, and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Most of all, I'd love to hear your comments. I always respond to all of them. Um, I really appreciate you being here. I, again, I hope this reading has helped. I'm wishing you a healing rest of the cancer season and July. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much and take care. Bye.